out what's going on. Deliver Poseidon to Gaia. Sorry, the fact that they made us open both those doors had me worried we were gonna get like shoved into a cutscene. trying to kill me. What? Your focus was trying to kill you? Is there anything in this box? Usually they're like, there's things in that box. I guess we'll just go talk to Gaia. We can go talk to our friends afterwards. All right, Gaia, we have a new friend for you. Welcome back, Aloy. Oh, oh, and we have that thing have too. Should we, uh, let's talk to Gaia first and then we can go uh, put the security drone that we got into the little box. The sign in. The fishies. Love the fishies. Mm. Lovely. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. That Aloy, makes me antsy. I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Oh, cool. Got it. So we need to go talk to Beta, the additional rooms, but let's do this first. Because we got our first survey drone. Okay. Data modules in. Our first one. Error. Drone feed disconnected. Oh. Well, which one is Error. connected? Drone offline. This one. Let's look. What does the feed look like? Speed run reset. <laughs> Las Vegas! Cool. That's awesome. Does Gaia have more things we can talk I'm to her about? Gaia. Hello, Aloy. What would you like to discuss? Oh my gosh. Um, let's talk about our progress. Oh, let's ask her about so, Beta. I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's not what I expected. What were you expecting? That's true. I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. Wow, and ouch. Less pessimistic. It is true. She, is she overestimated our progress. Oh, However, sorry. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. And then I we let so. her down. But, Give her time. You know. She may yet come around. All right. How long do we have? How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Oh, four months. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Great. How's Catalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. Reasonable. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? Mechanical arm? I'll check in with him when I can. You getting a mechanical arm? How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods. Oh yeah, we have the land god stuff. Sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have a workaround. Yeah. Did we already have She's this conversation? So oh, oh, promising. oh, okay, we had it with Zoe. It's like, I feel like we've talked about this before. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. Ooh, Zoe's a vegetarian. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. 
<laughs> Carl's like, yeah, no, thank you. I don't want to be a vegetarian. What are I want to know what's next? Aaron's handling things. He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What initial did he do? incident? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. <laughs> Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. Dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. That's amazing. We're getting all the tea from Gaia, guys. Hey, Sansa, so keep it So there's a few so. people here now, and they're learning all about you, the ancient world. Getting the tea Almost from like Gaia. What was supposed to happen. Tea time with Gaia. Apollo was purged. Yes. <laughs> While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Barl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Mm. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Really? Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, mm. to allow him to process this on his own terms. I respect. All right, cool. Um. Mm. Nah, we can ask her about that. I'll later. be on my way. We I need to go to talk to trials. some other people. We got some more people to talk to. It's talkie time. Talkie time in Forbidden West. Talkie time. Hi, Diego. Welcome in. So the old ones painted their faces with something called. Oh, and we have makeup. a new room. Like What's the, the new room that opened up? Why? That beats me. Is this the new room? No, this is my room. Not a new room. You feel like I like remember the rooms by this point. I do not. Door is unlocked now. Is it this one? Oh my gosh! This oh wait no, this is the strategy room. I, we do need to talk to uh, Katala. It's the you? other one that's just opened up. No, but I must ask. The woman Barl and Aaron brought in, she's related to you. Hey, thank you for it's the hard to explain. I um, appreciate it, Diego. She's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. I love how casual he is about that. Uh, I wanted to ask about you his... You said you were training with the focus? Arm. That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. <laughs> I would not wish to face them on mass. I'm with you there. Same, dude, same. Getting Ether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the ten themselves. Oh. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the knowledge you recovered out in the desert i am no chaplain but i'd be curious to test if something i read is true huh? what is it the old ones believed one could hear the great waters even in the middle of the desert if you carried the carcass of a water animal with yeah. you oh they no called them seashells that sounds kind of gross <gasps> I cram. sounds kind of gross can we not ask him about his arm? I guess not. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? <laughs> Listen Briefly. to a conch shell, you can he hear well the ocean. He fought well against troops at Baron Light. Oh Are my gosh. Are all as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, <laughs> the Nora can hold That's their own. That's so funny. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. Okay, I guess we can't talk to him to about his arm. On your way then. I thought we were. I thought we. Kyle literally was like, 
No, they are like little kids learning all the new stuff. Thought she said we should ask him about his arm. I guess not. Is this the new room? Oh my so gosh. Lot of here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management. Oh, console. sorry, Gaia, not to shut you up. There's still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. Oh. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. We, we were just talking to her. I, I accidentally cut her off. I didn't realize that touching that button was going to cut her off. <laughs> well, too late. We've lost it. We've lost whatever she was going to say now. Hi, Zach. What's up? It's true. It was his second favorite arm, and now it's gone. I actually think it was his first favorite arm, and now it's gone. I've been tackling the design of the AG lab. Place is going to have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite, sample 626. Isn't that Stitch's number? Uh, isn't he experiment 626? Or who's experiment 626? That's like a thing, right? A nice gram. See if any caterpillars had turned into chrysalises. Uh, now I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. Caterpillars! That is very fun. That is very fun! Alright, guess we're not gonna get whatever guy was trying to say. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he's Experiment 626. What do you oh, got hey, going on, Aaron? This is indeed Stitch. See, I knew it! Let's ask him about uh, his training. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but... By the forge, the things I've been able to see. I know, I told you, broke granted, your first one. a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still mm -hmm. try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? Aww. It takes some time, but yeah. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? Oh. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have <laughs> give me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols they give me a headache. I don't But I'll blame get up you. to speed. I promise. Thank you for the follow. I don't know. I just what want to know about next? training. I saw a guy added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Lightning rods. That reminded me of a cousin of mine. Oh. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird pits. oh no went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it it ended like a lot of asaram things do with a spark, spark and a boom that man got blown up <laughs> all right well, it was nice to talking go. to you Aaron. okay let's go talk to beta that. i think that's where i want to head next we'll let the oh wait is uh varl not over here is it just so maybe we'll just talk to zo Where's Farrell? Haven't seen you in a while. Maybe he's in their room. He probably is. You're training. I see you've settled in. Oh wait. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our land. Nurture them like nope. the land gods Sorry. do plain songs fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much so much metal. Metal. Hi, Brennan. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. Hey. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise yeah. when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru o Hephaestus are a whole way of life, as well as our current yes. troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Ether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified now of them as a child. Now they're just rude. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. Yeah. But everything so Gaia cute. creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those stories. I'm so scared mind. about trying to get Hephaestus back. I feel like that is going to be the biggest I pain in the butt go. that we're going to have to deal with. I'll be in here this if game. you need me. And that's next. That's the next thing we need to do after talking to Lake Babe. 
Oh, oh, it's him listening to his music. I was like, what is that noise? It's him jamming out. All right, let's go talk to Beta. <laughs> Rocking out. Rocking. There's something behind that door. Rocking out. What's up, Beta? Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. A calling, calming hollow. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me. While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough and then one day a data channel opened in my training interface in it Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean it was beautiful she showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? They were friends. What else can you tell us about Tilda? I had the bomb. She... liked to talk about you? her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> Reasonable. Okay. So, she seems to have a soft spot for the clones. That can be used to our advantage. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training VR. interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never Sims. knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. Hmm. For a second, I thought the game was frozen. <laughs> So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Beach house. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. 
We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. Beta. Beta thought of a, had a real crap life <laughs> up to this point. And it's still kind of crappy. You said paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Hmm. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. <laughs> it had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? <laughs> she just wanted anything to watch TV use? shows. No. Any information about them was redacted. That's cute. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Truly. Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. Mm. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. There's something significant here. It, it's not just gonna be a let's leave it at that then. You know, there's some reason that this is gonna be significant. What's wrong? I'm trying. Not the door closing it on us. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Mm. Aloy's pissed. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, mm. it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. True. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you not for all trying to bring up trauma of course i do but i don't have time to think about that now i need to get back out there Marl. okay i'll keep working with beta gaia says she knows a lot about zero dawn and maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with hephaestus sure but i won't hold my breath Have faith, Aloy. It will all be okay. We will do our best. The thing that they don't know is that we respawn. <laughs> we respawn, Aloy. <laughs> like, not in the, like, game, but like, I respawn, so don't worry. <laughs> Alright, what level is this? 24, alright. I say, let's go. I say, let's go. All right, let's get out of here. I think so we could go talk to Varl. I also haven't played very much hey. of the game in the Isaac? game. Of course. No, this one isn't on PC yet. It's just PlayStation. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. Freaking Ted. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much True. more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. True. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're <laughs> learning a lot. Hey, I've actually been in. looking Thank through you. the data to find ideas for a gift and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs something from the old world that she's never seen before instead I found out they gave each other stuffed animals if you ask me stuffing a dead animal with <laughs> anything really doesn't no. sound like a good time for oh, anybody no. maybe Gaia can help you find something else stuffed animals he 
It's like they could like training. you kill him. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first oh met, my you asked me if I ever it's wondered like, what this that world doesn't looked seem like, like a good plan. I had thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed That's since hilarious. I left the embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier. I know, we'll get there, Guardians. <laughs> There's just so many people to talk to, and I I'm just going to talk to them about their we'll training. Here, That's what I've kind of decided. Oh my gosh. All the data dump. Data, all the data dump. Data dump, data dump. But yeah, let's go. It's time to get out of here. We've been data dump dumped at for like 30 minutes now. It's time to get some action. No, it does kind of have Mass Effect vibes, the bomb. I don't think you like, it's not like Mass Effect in that you have to talk to the, um, you ha- oh. Well, they definitely don't sound like rebels. <laughs> Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. What is this? Okay, I'm curious. I'm curious. Yeah, unlike Mass know. Effect, I don't think it's required that you talk. Um... Why are... Oh, they killed... This red fox required that you talk to all the people, but I do like talking to the people. I find it very interesting. Oh, this game is awesome. It does kind of have a Mass effect -y vibe with, like, having a home base and companions to talk to. Um... That's true. It's not technically required. But as far as I know, if you don't ever talk to the people in this game, it won't change anything, unlike Mass Effect, where if you don't ever talk to people in Mass Effect, it can, like, really screw up your potential for what you can do moving forward in the game, you know? It's less, uh... It hurts you less in this game, as far as I know, not to talk to the people you're not trying to build relationships or anything like that they just automatically like you in this game unlike mass effect where you have to talk to them for them to like you do i have a mount yeah yeah, yeah exactly exactly <laughs> but i do like getting the lore i find the world building for this game very fun I really enjoy the Horizon world, and so I like kind of knowing. Wait, why? Why did I lost it? Oh my gosh! Calm down. I lost it. Maybe? Is it not? Is it this area up here? Um. So I like learning about things, but I know it's not the most riveting content ever. Oh, arrow hand. We've been here before, right? I feel like we've been here before. My stock will be here next time. The real battle is arguing with you. Oh yeah, we've been here before. This is where we were put when we thought we died, and it shoved us in this town instead of taking us to wherever we were initially. I remember this. Okay, I don't know what happened to those racers. Either way, I guess we could just teleport a little bit closer. There's no reason to run the 50 million years. Ah, uh, it might have been the goose. It's gonna hurt even worse. Hey, it's possible. Or they can make a good show out of it. This is where Zoe said we love find some the good lore. Parts from to heal Plainsong's land gods. Well, and I should let her know oh. I'm here. Wait. This um, this is not what I meant. Um. Oh, and we have literally so many skill points. I am all over the place right now, guys. I do apologize. I'm, like, sitting here like, oh, and I need to freaking hit that, and I need to do that, and I need to do that. And I need to do that. 
<laughs> oh, and let me look at these things. No, really. Aloy the Headless Chicken. She's like, let's follow those guys. Oh, wait, let's not do that anymore. Let's follow this. Let's go over here. Let's, oh, we need to do this mission now. And it's like, um... We gotta figure out what's going on first, ma'am. Oh, I might like that. I would not mind concentration regen being faster. Um, Valor on impact, low health melee. Melee attacks deal more damage at low health. What do you got over here? Quieter spear. I think we've looked at these. Let's get quieter spear. Hi, Spentrillo. Good, good. Get them galactic credits. All right. Well, I don't want to do the Zoe mission. I want to do the main mission, and then we can do the Zoe mission next. So, I told you we were going to go do the main mission, so we're going to go do the main mission. I am sorry. I keep running around with the, like a chicken with my head cut off, but we're going. I will do the Zoe stuff. At least we know we have the fire. Oh, shoot. We're getting into sketchy territory here, folks. Shoot, we have to go through here? Oh, fudge. This is far away, man. Like, this is gonna open up a lot of the map. Let's actually go to this tall neck over here. Dude, we're getting into this creepy dude area, though. You know, the stealthy guys that are pain in the butt? This is their territory. And I am not excited about that. And I'm just trying to take my poor pig up the freaking mountain. We're skyriming it with my poor little pig friend we've got going on here. Oh shoot. No, the skyrimming only <laughs> sky skyrimming only goes so far. How far can we take this to just climb straight up this mountain? Will you go further, my friend? No, friend ends here. No, and I appreciate that, Alien. I was actually talking uh, to my husband about that this morning, that of all the games that we've... Oh, I got a wildlife kill. What did I kill? Um, of all the games that we've played on stream in the last little bit, Oh. This one is by far the most open world of them all and has the best side quests of them all. Before moving. Well, so that's the thing, Alien, is it makes it kind of hard with stream. And, I and I've talked about this before. It's finding the balance between... Because most people watching content like this are most looking forward to, like, specific side missions or specific missions in the main storyline that they want to see certain creators react to so it's finding the balance between should i have every single conversation should i do all the side missions should i etc etc if that makes sense um and so I try to do a healthy amount of side missions, and we'll probably, after finishing the story, go back and do more side missions. But, like... Um... Oh! Elise! Is that how you pronounce it? Welcome in! What's up? Happy to have you here! Um... AKA Flannel. Um, but it's finding that balance, because, like... If I was playing this game on my own, you know I would literally be doing every side mission in every town I came across before we, like, moved on to uh, the next missions. Because I am very much a side mission person, but it's finding the balance between continuing the story and doing the side missions. Yeah, exactly. Also, yeah, watching people farm. Or, like, not all side missions are super exciting. Like, I'm sure there's some side missions that are, like, people are like, you have to do that side mission. But then there's always the side missions that are kind of, like, grab-and-go kind of missions. So, it's trying to find the good ones. All right, let's continue on up this mountain, I guess. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Um, no, it does not want me to go up this mountain. But I, I am glad I grabbed this town. 
Yeah, exactly. So it's knowing as a creator that that kind of She's good. trying to balance out content. And I know I literally spent the first 30 minutes like talking to people, but it's that kind of stuff. And it was so funny. That's so that's how I played The Witcher. And it's one of the reasons I was like, I'm very glad. Oh, excuse me. I'm very glad. Wait, no, it does want me to go up the mountain. Okay, we do have to go past this way. I was like, there's not even another path this way. I was reading the map wrong. Um, that's, that's how I usually play. Like, I'll play video games on my first, like, my own time. It's very much more... Hi, Shorvin. Uh... Let's do all the side quests, play all the games at town. But I don't know if you guys would want to watch me spend 30, 30 minutes to an hour sitting and playing the in-game game. Like, we will do that eventually. Um, but for, like, the purpose of, like, YouTube... Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> creating content for YouTube and stuff. Wait, I should have scanned this thing. What am I doing? And, oh, an Apex Scorcher. This might have been a mistake. Oh, it was a mistake. It was a big mistake. I made a large mistake. Yeah, it's, that's true. It's no Gwent. It's a lot... The game in this game seems to be a lot more time-consuming. That's true, Guardians, that's true. Like, side missions aren't as bad as, like... I offer you an honorable trade. Just that farming animals. Okay, let's not fight that. that well, let's not fight that thing. We'll just run past these. <laughs> yeah. That girl was our last hope, and she just got wrecked. Okay, we're gonna... So that's a Scorcher. And then there was the big boy. The other one was like a grand scorcher or something like that. I'm just gonna go around. We're gonna, we're gonna go around. That's okay. Are these guys bad people? Do I need to fight you? Don't fight me. Fudge. Are they bad people? Are they friends with the scorcher? Oh no, they're fighting the scorchers. Cause that's the big boy scorcher that took me down, right? Apex Scorcher. No, that one's the big boy. Okay, we're gonna go. I assume these guys aren't trying to fight me. They can go fight that Scorcher. I don't want to deal with that. I'm just gonna run away. It was lovely seeing you all. I'm gonna keep moving. Yeah, don't mind. That girl was our last hope. She's dead now. Come my friend. Let's keep going. Yeah, no, I am a coward. I am a coward. We have to go fight other big, big robots. Oh, I need one of your freaking antlers. Okay, we will fight this one. Because I need one of its antlers. Come here. I need one of your antlers. Oh, if I could, oh, that one worked actually. Yes, okay, good. I need your antlers. For upgrades. I don't even remember what it is that I'm upgrading. And, oh, shoot. Excuse you. Oh, oh not my, not my freaking mouth kicking it in the head. Oh my gosh. Not you kicking him in the head, dude. Okay, you. Goodness sakes. I was not ready for him to start kicking him in the head. Oh, it might have been. The Apex creature might have been level 40 or something. I wasn't even paying attention to the level. I should have been. Well, if they were, it was level 40 or something. That is why I died so fast. Yeah, you can fight with them out. I just needed the antlers specifically, so I didn't want to fight with them out because I wanted to make sure I could get the antlers off. But yeah. 
But your mount can also die, and I don't really want that to happen, too. So that's kind of part of the reason why I kind of get off of them before I... Are you on fire? Sir, what is going... Oh. Oh, because you're a fire bristleback, so you're, like, spewing fire out of your mouth. That's wild. I didn't even realize. I got a fiery boy. But, yeah, if that guy was a level 40, that might be why I died. They're level- literally level 24. Well, level 24. <laughs> what? You can't enter this location? That's dumb. I didn't mean to glide off of him, but that works too. <laughs> Ooh, cliff watch. Need to get this tall neck down here. Oh, hello, folks. You're more of the. Can you fill oh. Regala as yeah. easy? Hello. May strength and honor be with Hikaro this day. May strength and honor be with Hikaro this day. If only you could breathe fire on your enemies like a dragon. I wish. You just run around like spitting fire onto everybody. It would be a vibe. All right, what do you got, my friend? Uh, nothing I care too much about. All right. Next time she will convince me to buy. Oh, what's up there? This writing. Scroll. Arja. No pun intended. Such a cool settlement. I know, we're getting into the snowy areas. We might have to switch Aloy's outfit. Just because I'm going to feel bad having her run around in the snow in her cold looking outfit. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I know. Hey, bro. Hey, thank Let you for the resub. What's up? All right, I think that's it, at least up here in this town. Oh, who are you? Let's talk to this guy, just to kind of get the deets. I'm Ikuta. Hello. You're Aloy, right? I am Aloy. I heard how you drove Regala from the cool route. I thought maybe you could help me and the village. What you got? In the forest to the west, our people have always found good salvage from shell walkers and clamor jaw piles, but now. Killer machines stalk the area. Cross striders for certain. And I've heard rumors of something worse. In years past, I would have asked Marshal Chikata to, to help me clear out the threat. That's true. That's true. Oh no. Now I'm alone. He's killed and at there Baron aren't enough Mike. seasoned soldiers here to help. What do you say? You up for a hunt? Uh, not right now, I but I'll take your mission. In my pocket. Strange. Chikata in my used pocket. to use those same words in the same way. A good omen, I suppose. All right, meet me at the edge of the forest west of here. We'll hunt together. We'll hunt I'll together. be glad for the company. All right, cool. I will not be doing that right now, but thank you for the mission, sir. Cool. Now we have it. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Oh my gosh. All right. Might as well collect some side missions. I'm sure we'll get to them after we finish what we're doing here. Who here dares challenge me at strike? Not me, sorry. Someday though. I was gonna Did any give you any trouble out there? Never. <laughs> She did not grab. I fell further than I thought. <laughs> Said that so casually. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's awesome, Roman. Oh, that's cool. Something nearby is sending that signal. Yeah, it's that tonic right tonic. there. Hey, hey, let's get him. Let's get him. Ooh, what's down here? Let's avoid those if we can. I know she doesn't have a little BB to grab on. And hi, Ricky, welcome in. There's the tall neck that's sending the signal. Wait, if I had timed this right, I could have maybe grabbed it from here. Oh shoot! What the heck is that? That was a mistake. I shouldn't have eaten myself like that. 
Use purge water ammo Fire clamber jaw. Level 21. Okay. So we have fire clamber jaw, fire clamber jaw. I don't think we have any water weapons. We do not. That's all right. Oh, shoot. I should be hiding. What am I doing? Made him angry. Oh, I missed. And there are only two of them? They look like monkeys or lions? Not set ourselves on fire. Hey Ricky, thank you for the hundred biddies. That's very kind of you. But also, let's make sure that looks terrifying. I don't know about you guys. Oh, like monkeys. They're like monkeys with VR goggles on. Flaming monkeys with VR goggles on. That's kind of the vibe. <laughs> Anyone get that vibe? Ah, they're really movie though. They move a lot. I'm down! No, that's basically what I'm doing. I need to rescan them to get there. Oh gosh their weaknesses again since they're a new critter. They have a tail that's weak and some stuff on their back. And their face when they had the goggles on was relatively weak, but now it's not weak. Oh shoot, I thought that the tall neck was a big a big big robot trying to kill him. And I was really scared there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna be murdered by this giant robot while I'm trying to deal with these like little monkeys. I know Ricky, I'm excited. doing that little jumpy thing. There. there we go. Okay, we got one. Now we just got this guy up here. Do I need to go up there? Level five. Okay, he still has his goggles on. Like, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be doing this, but it seems relatively effective so far. He's lighting freaking everything. Oh gosh. Everything around me. <gasps> On fire though. We could calm down a little bit. That would be great. Also, how do we get up there? That's probably a good question. And is it literally just this guy? How do we get up there? There's like ladders and stuff. This is gonna be a bunch of parkour, isn't it? This is totally going to be, like, nightmarish parkour. Hey, I took his little goggles off. Come on, peek your little head over. Or not, that's fine too. Okay. So I feel like we have to start over here where it's lower. Lowland settlement. It's abandoned. Lowland settlement. enough to get me on that tall neck. If I can find a way to the top. You're saying it. He's still up there. He likes just hanging out up there, so that works for me. I don't know. What's that? Shoot! No, 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 no. Can you shoot these? Shoot. Mistakes were made! Those hurt. I forget how much that hurts. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, there more than one. Uh, now. Oh, 
there's more than one. Oh, shoot. No. Uh, I do not have a special shield ability now. I don't, oh yeah, we do have, you can set up the big shield, but it's like a positionable shield. No, you're totally good, Ricky. It's like a shield you have to position somewhere and you can stand behind it. It's not like a movable shield. Machine seizing up. You have a way to kill these guys. All right, where's the other one? Right there. Oh, shoot! Reload! Reload! Watch. Reload! Find the rock. Where'd he go? Fudge! He's on my butt. this guy. Alright, we got two of the sneaky boys. Is there another sneaky boy? There's something I'm missing. Oh, is it that guy that's up there? Oh no, it's another sneaky boy. How many these guys are there? Oh my gosh, there's so many! There it goes. Okay, where's the other one? There's at least one more. There's so many. Hi, Weave. Good afternoon to you, too. There's at least one more. Where is he? I'm not just crazy. I might just be crazy. At least we've kind of learned how to take him out pretty quick. I thought there was one more. I like hear him, but I don't know if that's the tall neck though. Something else is shooting at me, and it might just be that guy up there. And if it's just that guy up there, I don't really mind. <coughs> oh shoot. <coughs> oh yeah, that weapon just rips through them. No, it's it's a freaking good call. Like good to know this is the weapon to have with those dudes. Cause they're scary. I feel like it's just that guy. We haven't gotten attacked by any of the other ones. All right. So now the question is, how do I get up in there? So that looks like the way back down. We have this over here. I feel like we're gonna have to go into this area with the <laughs> bad gross stuff that hurts us. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, it's okay, explode if you want. I think I've killed all the scary dudes. Invisible ways. Hi, Tricord. Let's wrestle, could I be of assistance? We're making it work. We're figuring it out. We're killing the bad boys. We're getting what we gotta do. I need to get to that platform. Just get to the way. Wings holding up. Here we go. Assuming one of these is gonna take me where I need to go. Grab on! There we go. Goodness sakes. Okay. Lower that. How do we get up there? I want that thing. How do we get up there? Oh, nope! 
That's why we kicked the ladder down. <laughs> I felt a jolt in my bones. Yeah, you felt a jolt in your bones because we fell from like a very high up place, ma'am. I feel like anyone feel a jolt in their bones. Oh my gosh. Am I not supposed to get on top of this freaking... I guess not. Grab on. Are we supposed to glider from here onto that thing? That works. Effective. Yeah, yeah, we're that's true. We're still getting there a lot better than last stream's puzzle. Okay. So there's that over there. And then we can walk across those ropes to get up there. But how do we get up in there to get this chest that's right here? I do not know. So we can't, like, get up there. Hmm. Well. This might be high enough to jump on that tall neck. This might be high enough to jump on the tall neck? This? This doesn't feel very high. Is that where we jump on the tall neck from? Like, if it is, I'll take it. I just don't feel like this should be high enough, but... I don't know. Where is the tall neck? He's gonna be like all the way- oh, he's right there. I don't know, I guess we'll see. I feel like we should be higher than this, but... Whatever works, I guess? Oh, same Anakin, it's freaking awesome. I guess worst case scenario we fall down and we just have to go get up those ladders over there. What's that over there? Oh, it just looks like a piggy. Like, I don't feel like this is tall enough. No, because we have to hit those... Oh, I guess we could maybe grab the one on its shoulder, but I don't think... Is there any more to climb up? He doesn't really have great climbing. Like, it feels like you need to jump. No. Looks like this tall neck's missing some parts. I knew it! I'll have to find a platform that's high enough to reach its head directly. That's what I thought. Okay. Let's do a little look around, I guess, while we're up here. Oh, can I jump from him? Yo! Thanks for the ride, buddy. Perfect. We got it. Friend! So you had to use the tall neck to get to the next air next section of the area. That's cool! I like that. And here's a ladder here, so then you don't have to worry about it. Ooh. Hi Joseph. Alright. If you miss this jump or something. <laughs> this is cool. I like this one. Whoa, don't fall down, girl. Better watch my step. Remember, we still have that guy up there. Yeah. gonna say he should almost be dead. We did get him down quite a bit. Oh shoot, what's he throwing at me? He's like throwing bombs at me. Good, hit the tree. Oh, that works for me. Yeah, hit that tree. these guys moves is amazing i'm loving this game anakin i'm really enjoying it now that i feel like i've kind of gotten a hold of more of the mechanics it's it's just kind of a really fun game 
We are, yeah, the fact that we're not parkouring in the dark is optimal. That's true, Guardians. Here, I'll take this stuff. Here's all the stuff I knocked off the other guy. Search scrap part, search scrap part. Beautiful! Knocked out our other friend over here, so that makes my life easier. Uh, can we not jump? There we go. I'm like, please let me jump over to the side, Aloy, please. Okay. Let's collect our parts from this friend. Okay. A ladder. A ladder! Said that. A ladder. A ladder. Is this not high enough? I guess that's higher, so. A ladder. A ladder? A ladder. <laughs> Where do you? This is fun. I like this. Lots of lots of parkour -y going on. You up there. We are gonna be high up. I better get this glide right. Alright. I should be able to find a spot to jump onto that tall neck from here. This I better get this yeah, I better get this jump and glide right, otherwise I'm screwed. Alright, where is he? He's coming around. This was good timing. We don't have to wait too long. He's coming round the mountain when he comes. Yeah, he's coming round the mountain when he comes. Are we high enough up? Is this higher? I feel like this area is over here is higher. Yeah, he's coming round the mountain. Yeah, he's coming round the mountain. Yeah, he's coming. Is this high enough? I'm worried this ain't high enough. But I think this is the highest one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Wait, can we not grab onto that? I bamboozled myself. Those look too difficult to climb. I'll have to find another way. I thought we could grab onto his other thing, but apparently not. Apparently we cannot. Oh, and there's a freaking ladder right there. Nope, we're gonna have to go all the way over here. Stepping. <coughs> Shoot. That's all right. A little annoying, but that's all right. Cause I had it. I had it. Wait, how far over do we have a ladder? Right here, I think is our closest ladder. I thought I could jump to the other one, but the answer to that question was no. I could not jump to the other one. Redo, redo. We try. We almost got it. Although now we have to wait for him to come around the mountain when he comes, you know. I always worry about those zip lines, man, that you're not gonna grab them. I just need to go up. Well, we will find out. Where is he? He's gonna be like... Wait, where is he? Not over here. Where are you, tall neck buddy? I hear ya. Right there. There he is. Like, it's whatever's glowing yellow, but like, there's some times where I'm like, I should be able to grab onto that, but you cannot grab onto that. <laughs> and it's like, oh, never mind. I guess that's not what the game wanted me to grab onto. It's all right. We, we have patience here. We can be patient. Like, I feel like we need, like, elevator music while we wait 
the tall necks. That's the only problem with the tall necks is they take freaking forever. Oh, I should have put that ladder down. It's too late now. Unless we want to wait for the freaking tall neck to go around. Oh, definitely. That works. Okay, that was very effective. I would argue more effective. That's better. All right, sound warning. I don't know how loud this one's gonna be. stuff over there. Let's get it. Oh, ouch. That's okay. I just wanted this green stuff. Ayo! But now we can see the area! Look at all that good, good stuff to find. Look at all that good, good... Oh. Oh! Oh, another cauldron! There's some ocean over here, isn't there? There's a lot of ocean. There's a lot of water right here. Fun. We love that. Oh, that's the hunt to remember. Okay. We are gonna go do this mission. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go do this mission. Uh, next. There's a fire over here. Let's grab it. Do a There's little savey save. Right on some machines. I'm not hunting machines with you, sir. I am not hey, talking Lord. to you. I'm. Here. Please let me save my game, sir. That's all I want. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine if it like turned into uh, Sons of the Forest and just cannibals? <laughs> I have played Zero Dawn. I played Zero Dawn like a year ago. Uh, I just recently got a PlayStation. Oh, shoot. Uh, and so I was finally able to play this game. So I've been loving it so far. But yeah, we played through Zero Dawn a while back, though. So it's been a little bit of a relearning curve to remember how these games play. But we're making it. Let's get this campfire real quick. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, just it's just gorgeous over here. Did I get the campfire? Okay, cool. Unknown shelter. I am curious as to what this unknown shelter is. That's true. I Luckily, I don't think this game is that way, where the enemies get worse in the evening. I think it just makes it harder to see. Oh, is the unknown shelter up there? That makes it a little harder to uh, go and see the unknown shelter. That's fine. We'll just keep moving. We're only 200 steps away from where we're going. Is this easy? I think it just makes it. Oh, and it's foggy over here. So we went from it just being dark to be doing dark and foggy. What is this area, though? Yeah, Shorbin. There's a lot of changes that I like from uh, Zero Dawn to Forbidden West. They did a good job. The fact that there's so many drums around always makes me anxious, like blaze drums and stuff. Because it makes me think we're going to get into some sort of combat. Grapple point. Grapple. So I feel like they put drums around when you're gonna get in some big fight with a big enemy, you know. You know. Oh no! Oh, damn! Chatter. Oh. Freaking chatter. Hold your fire! I'm not here to fight. The barbarians pinned down. Move in. Okay, whoever these people are, it looks like we're not gonna be friends. 
need to get past these hostels and into the ruins. Here it comes! Can I kill them? Or... See, this is why there's no blaze kegs. Oh, oh! There's a man at the inside! Kill her! There's oh. multiple men down Pass here! Them out. use that thing more it is so freaking effective okay those guys are dead next one did that hit me did they shoot me through the car well, there wasn't even a guy there okay so we got that guy is it just these three dudes i got to walk right into the fire do they have helmets is this guy behind a tree? They do have helmets. Okay. That is a okay. We will knock them helmets off. Come on. Come on, poke your little heads up. We'll be okay. Nothing bad will befall you if you poke your little heads up. Nothing bad will happen, I promise. Just poke your little head up. Come on, come on, I wanna see it. <laughs> Where'd this guy go? <laughs> he like disappeared. Oh shoot, I need more machine muscles. Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh shoot, he's behind this tree thing. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh shoot, that was a bad, bad, bad shot. They can't kill me, they're dead. You're the only one alive, sir. Oh my gosh, I am a horrible aim right now. I did so much good aim right there, and now I am just sucking. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? I was like kicking butt, and now it's like, nope. Oh, we got something off. Come here. Come on. Almost. One more. No, one more. Oh my gosh. This guy oh, has immunity. People. That man oh, had immunity. I don't know what's going on there. I get to Demeter fast in case there's more of them. Yeah, I, I didn't want to shoot the them. They, they pushed me to it. All right. We got to go find. We're looking for Demeter, right? Is who's here? All right. How do we get in? Ooh, I can. I'm gonna my path with these later. Okay. There's like a poison over here. Oh, a poison thing. We could have shot that. Oh, that works. The fact that it's so dark, man. No, I wanted to search this valuable box. Hello, sirs. It's so nice to see you up close and personal this time. Oh, this guy still had his freaking helmet on. I didn't even have to take that off. Oh, were you supposed to come up here to fight them? Well, too late now. They already did. I assume this is where the game wants me to go. Ooh, biotech. Looks like some sort of old office complex. Pretty chill. Some sort of old office complex. But somebody's built doors and stuff, so... Oh, <laughs> Aloy, ma'am. That'd be kind of cool, Shorban, if the next game takes you, like, more overseas. Oh. Ferrer Automated Solutions Industry Leading Biotech Research Facility. All right, biotech research. Environmental remediation. Organic waste management. Interesting. Solve your problems. Actually, let's craft more of these. research facility. There we go. A research facility greenhouse. It was not at all a dream. The bright sun was extinguished and the stars 
did wander darkling in the eternal space. It's like a little poem. Flower. That's true. Demeter should be right beyond that door. But those vines are blocking the way. Unless I can Where's cut these through things? them. I'm gonna need to find another I'm way I'm so in. excited. I'm so excited. We're gonna learn how to get past these things. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to do this and learn this forever. I think this is our last thing that like is keeping me back, is not knowing how to get past these things. Oh! Yeah, I have no idea how she'd get to Europe. But, you know, who knows? That's true. They, I don't know how she'd know. I guess maps, they, they do. Oh my gosh, I threw my, my lovely lady, please. Jim. Over there. Over here. A room with no way out. I've been trying to drink the potions more and use my potions more, but I mostly just use berries. But like in big fights, I'll try to chug a potion before we go in just to give me that extra like stuff. Oh shoot. Personal log. Science is a process of discerning patterns. Finding a sense of order amongst the chaos never has this been more pertinent than today here at the greenhouse. Between the construction bots, the strewn wreckage from last night's storm, the howls of prote protesters who don't even know the nature of our work, amongst all this, we must find method. All week, the verts have been delivering sets of bewildered faces, and I promise my pay paymasters that these looks of stunned inc incredulity hide some of the world's top minds from which ideas will sprout that can feed a starving world if we work fast enough if we knew it was what it was oh my gosh i can read guys i promise um if we knew what it was we were doing it would not be called research would it so we strike out from the shores of the known and swim into the deep oceans of the possible knowing that we must find something before the world drowns but does the man who is guiding us understand the work we must do there's no doubt that ted faro is a business savant and it comes to robotic and it comes to robotic assistance but does he grasp the science as well as the marketing. He and his board can sense what the world wants from a fashion app, but the choices they make now will determine whether a million starve here or a country falls into the void there. Pharaoh has, a grasp the fa Pharaoh has grasped the fact that action is necessary, but can he really be forced to save the world? He cannot. He sucks. All right. Activate Polo Projector. A log. <laughs> Just got off the line with U.S. Robot Command. Oh, hello. Time's running out. I didn't have the heart to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease. Hey. Even if adamantine wreath works, we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Adamantine wreath. Another secret project. There's a lot of those. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so... Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy. Test Station Ivy. How do I get out of here? Simple enough. Oh, lovely. Great. These guys again. Where we got this, are, Aloy. Dead. I better be careful. Huh. All right. What we got going on here? We got a lot of things. Uh, are we too far away to scan? We're too far away to scan. Okay. Is there like stairs down or do we have to like eat ourselves? Oh, we can repel down. Huh? Let's do that. Yeah, Pharaoh has grasped the fact. Pharaoh has grasped the fact. Pharaoh has grasped the fact. Okay. Don't take those soldiers out quietly. Okay, so we have. Oh, there's more running in. 
Green, green. Where's their leader? Do they have a leader? Green. Sneaky, sneaky. There's a barbarian in the compound. That's she me? got past the lookouts. Find her, kill her, and bring her head no. to the lieutenant. I got a few of them in the poison. Okay, I think that's all. Quiet. I think I saw some imperial guard. What's going on? Could be enemy recon. I don't see anything suspicious. I don't think see anything suspicious. He says as he's like literally dying from poison. Oh, Shh, turn your lights off, Aloy. You Not think one you're more step, barbarian. Friend didn't even no notice or care. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was wild. Yeah, this is savior of Meridia to you. Excuse you. Okay, we got that guy over there. That guy over there. Um, let's go over here. Get a better look at these guys and where they're situated. We could probably snipe this guy. No, I think his buddy would notice. We have another... Yeah, let's go up here. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You know, I'm just proving to you guys that I can be sneaky in video games. Okay. Is that all? Is there not another dude somewhere? Oh, shoot. His buddy. Get your helmet off. Who are you? Oh, they noticed me. He <laughs> can't see me. You can't see me. <laughs> Alright, it's just this guy. Oh, how did he see? He should not have been able to see me. That's just rude. Where's my... I'm gone! I am literally sparking, though. Oh, shoot. Rough, man. That hurts. We got away. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Get back in hiding, ma'am. Ma'am, back in hiding. <laughs> I know, these guys are not very good guards. This guy's got a big helmet on. He's gonna take a few shots. Take his helmet off. There we go. Shoot. There we go. Beautiful. I really wish these people would talk to me instead of trying to kill me. We didn't even give them a chance, Aloy. Don't talk like that. <laughs> we just kind of killed them ourselves. That was quite fun, though. I had a good time. Had a grand old time. Oh, and they have a workbench. Let's use that. <laughs> I love sneaking around like that. It's one of my favorite things. What? What was the one thing? There was one of the things. Was it you? Oh, it was. It's the... No, 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 no. That's not right. Do we use this? Why don't we use this one? That one's that one's better than the one we have. Wait. No, we can't do that. We need shell walk or lightning guns. We do have a pouch upgrade, though, so let's do that. Ah, oh, food pouch. I don't really use food. I probably should more. What was I gonna... 
We still have this one equipped. Why do we just have that one equipped when we could have this? I do not know. Let's upgrade it now, though. Oh, <laughs> not me just, like, jumping around. No, please, let... Ma'am, I just want you to use the workbench, ma'am, please. Ma'am, please. Yeah, I only want to speak to you as she turns her enemies into pincushions. Yeah, from a distance. In the depths. Where they can't see her. I just want to talk, Dumbledore said calmly. Oh my gosh. See, now we've got more. We've got these ones. Spikes. Impact spikes. Okay. Go this way, I assume. Oh, I would like to search the moderately valuable chest, please. Hello, dead person. 